Are you looking for the best heater for your RV and worried about it being a fire hazard? In this video, I'll show you why the Dyson is perfect for RVs and why it's safe to use around kids and pets and how it works. Are you asking yourself why in the world would someone pay that much money for a heater? I said the exact same thing and my wife wanted this heater. I searched around for the best deal. I was not happy about buying it, but now I can say four years later, this is the best machine ever and I love it. First off, it's three machines in one. It's a heater, it's a fan, and an air purifier. You can control every aspect of the heating and cooling through the Wi-Fi with an app on your phone. Having one machine that does a work of three saves a lot of space and you can use it year round. Second, it's both kid and pet safe. Right now it's at 65 degrees. If I touch a heating element in the middle in here, it's not cold, it's not hot, a little warm in a touch, but it gives you plenty of time to get your hand off there before you burn it. You have to have the temperature up very high before the heating element starts to get hot to the touch. My cats can sniff it, put their tails inside, and nothing happens to them. If it ends up getting knocked over, it automatically shuts off, so you don't have to worry about it starting a fire. And you can see the air quality on the app and how much light the filter has. I just changed the filter and it's easy to do. The app shows you step by step everything you need to know or do. For how our RV is set up, the fireplace is in the back, our bedroom's in the front where we keep the Dyson, and our thermostat for the furnace is in the middle. If we put the Dyson right next to the thermostat, our furnace will never kick on and heat the underbelly. That's why we keep things separate so everything stays warm and we don't freeze underneath in the wintertime. If we are working in a certain part of the RV when it's cold, we'll bring a Dyson to that room to warm it up or we'll put it in the bathroom to help keep it warm when we get out of the shower. And now for the fun part, let me show you how to use it. Comes with a remote control that sticks on the top of the magnet, has all your basic functions on, off, heating, cooling, fan mode, night mode, timer, and auto. Everything you need to do on this, or you can do it on the app as well. Now I'm going to put this back and show you how the app works. That is the fun part. When we open up a Dyson app, this is the home screen you come to. You see you have some quick buttons. You can adjust the fan or the temperature or put it on cooling mode. On the right side, we have the remote control. This is the same as a physical remote control, but you can do it from your phone. We change it from cooling to heating. If you want to change the temperature on heating, we put our finger on it and we can drag it up and down. It'll heat up until that temperature. If you put the fan mode on auto, the fan will slow down when it's that temperature and the fan will speed up when it's trying to heat up the room faster. If you want to change the fan speed itself, you can see where your fan speed is. We can again slide our finger up and down to change the fan speed. And if you want to set a timer to leave it on for a couple hours and shut off, we can use a timer function for that. Say so you want it to shut off in four hours, we can set a timer. Four hours from now, the fan will shut off. The oscillation lets the fan swing right to left. This works especially good in the summertime when you're cooling off. And night mode is one of my favorites. Turn that on so I don't get a blinding bright light spinning around the bedroom and keep me awake at nighttime. And the last one is your fan direction. You have a diffuser mode which makes it nice and wide to evenly heat up the room. Or you can put it on to straight mode that puts more of a directional flow of air out the fan. And now we're going to go back to the home screen. As you can see, it has the air quality right now is fair. I was just messing with the filter and the sensor. It takes a little bit for everything to clear out and come back around, but it is purifying the air right now. And if you pull down on the top of this house, you can see the parts per million of different particles that are in the air. So it's pretty nice to know what things you're breathing in. And the fan it keeps working until it gets below a certain level until it feels that it's good enough air to breathe. And when we swipe up, we can see different charts of a history of our air quality, our temperature, or humidity. You can scroll back to around a week to see what the history was. Now if we pull that back down, this is back to the basic home screen. Now from the home screen, you see the gear icon in the top right. We click on that. The first one, machine settings. This is where you can set up your machine. You can see our filter life on here. Now let's go back. Let's go to the using your machine. This is all the information to help you get started. So if you click through all these, you can see how the remote control works, basic functions of your fan, what the different modes do, everything that you need to know from cleaning the machine, how to clean it, what to clean it with, cleaning the machine sensor, and changing the filter. Now let's go back to the menu. I'll show you how to schedule your machine to turn on at a certain time of the day. We can set up a Dyson to heat up the room when we're gonna be in there and turn off when we're not. That way we save electricity and we're comfortable when we need to be inside that room. 
to set up a schedule we don't have one set up already we'll click continue in the bottom and now we're going to set up a schedule we're going to turn the fan on at nine o'clock it says military time so we're going to click the off time we want to turn off at seven o'clock which is 1900 now what days of the week we want to turn it on at tuesday wednesday and thursday in the bottom of settings we'll tell the app we want the fan to be on setting five and we want it to heat up to 66 degrees and we want the fan to be in night mode also so we're going to use these settings now it goes back we can see all the settings as an overview now we'll add events you'll see your event here we can have a total of three events scheduled inside the dyson and my other favorite thing to do especially in the winter time if i'm at work i'm cold i know i want to heat that room up really good before i get there i can log into the app turn the dyson on crank that heat up and now i know when i get there i'll be nice and toasty to get thawed out from a cold day's work and that's a quick overview of how to use the dyson app we link the dyson in the description down below we suggest searching around for the best price and sometimes it can actually be the dyson's website that's because I'll put old models on clearance when they're bringing out a new version or put new features out on them. If you want more tips on how to stay warm in your RV, check out this video next. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.